Solar eclipses. With their dramatic dimming of sunlight, have long captured human curiosity and myth. Yet beyond their awe-inspiring celestial spectacle, these events offer a unique window into the intricate behaviors of animals, including invertebrates like arachnids and insects. With their reliance on visual cues for navigation, invertebrates often find themselves disoriented during a solar eclipse. The sudden dimming of light can disrupt their internal compass and clock, leading to confusion in flight paths and foraging routes. Diurnal insects, accustomed to daylight activities, may temporarily cease their movements or exhibit erratic behavior as they struggle to adapt to the altered light. Flying insects, such as butterflies, bees, and dragonflies, are particularly sensitive to the changes in light intensity. During a solar eclipse, these creatures may adjust their flight patterns, descending to lower altitudes and seeking shelter in the thick brush to evade potential predators. On the other hand, some insects may capitalize on the temporary darkness to forage more freely, exploiting the confusion among their prey. Bees have returned to their hive during the eclipse and made a very unusual buzzing sound. Communication plays a vital role in the lives of insects, from courtship rituals to warning signals. However, solar eclipses can disrupt these intricate exchanges. Insects that rely on visual or acoustic signals, such as crickets chirping or fireflies flashing, may struggle to communicate effectively as the dimming light interferes with their signals. This disruption can have profound implications for mating success and reproductive behaviors. Dung beetles stopped rolling their balls of poo and burrow underground in a sleep position. Once the eclipse has ended, they return to rolling. Interestingly enough, other beetle species in one study showed absolutely no change in their behavior signifying that these reactions can be species-dependent. There were even some scientists that set up insect traps and found that no insects were caught in their traps prior to the eclipse. But once totality was approached, several diurnal insects were found. Even wilder, one nocturnal moth was found in the trap during the eclipse. In the United States, back in 2017 during the solar eclipse, crickets became very noisy, chirping louder than normal. And during that same eclipse, it was observed that fireflies began hovering and flashing their lights in search of mates. And even the ants slowed down or stopped moving entirely. But that is not all of the potential confusion these inverts may experience. The drop in temperature associated with a solar eclipse can impact the thermoregulatory strategies of insects. As ectothermic organisms, insects rely on external heat sources to regulate their body temperature. And they may seek out warmer microhabitats or adjust their posture to conserve heat, ensuring their physiological functions remain optimal despite the temporary chill. Orb-weaving spiders may have a surprising reaction to the sudden darkness caused by a solar eclipse. In Veracruz, Mexico in 1991, social orb weavers were experimented on during a total solar eclipse. The spiders behaved normally right up until totality. Then they began tearing down their webs. But once the eclipse ended, they began rebuilding their webs.
For good measure, a control group of the same spiders were kept under light during the eclipse, and they did not tear down their webs, which confirmed these spiders were using light levels to dictate the building of their web. It's like they're preparing for nighttime, conserving energy, or safeguarding their webs from potential damage. But not all spiders go into hibernation mode. Some even become more active. Like many other creatures, spiders are sensitive to the changes in temperature and light. During a solar eclipse, the sudden drop in temperature caused by the blocking of sunlight might stimulate spiders to become more active. Aggregation is another intriguing behavior observed in spiders during solar eclipses. Certain species gather in clusters or seek refuge in denser vegetation, possibly to protect themselves from predators or to find safety in numbers. while other species may move around in search of prey or seek shelter in response to the changing environmental conditions. Solar eclipses also present a unique hunting opportunity for spiders. As flying insects become disoriented by the sudden darkness, spiders capitalize on the confusion, increasing their hunting activity to ensure an easy meal. Spiders are opportunistic hunters, and a solar eclipse presents a very unique opportunity for them to capture confused insects. As the darkness of the eclipse affects the behavior of insects, spiders may increase their hunting activity to take advantage of the situation and secure food much more easily. While there is limited scientific research specifically addressing how solar eclipses affect spider reproductive behavior, it's plausible that some species may exhibit changes in mating rituals or reproductive activities during an eclipse. The altered light and temperature conditions could influence the time or frequency of mating events. Though further research is needed to understand the precise impacts. It's important to recognize that not all spiders respond to solar eclipses in the same way. Factors such as species habitat and individual characteristics can definitely influence spider behavior during the solar eclipse. Scientific understanding of this phenomenon is still advancing and evolving, with much of the information based on anecdotal observations and casual reports rather than comprehensive studies. So if you're out in nature during the solar eclipse, be mindful of the insects and arachnids around you. If you want to get involved and become a citizen scientist, NASA is asking for help with its Eclipse Soundscape project. I will leave a link down below in the description of this video if you'd like more information. So observe the arachnid and insect behaviors, listen to their sounds, and make sure to document anything strange you witness and come back to this video and tell us what you observed during the eclipse in the comments down below. I want to give a quick shout out to biologist Jade Skywalker from the Sky Spider YouTube channel for helping me research this topic. As always, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks for buying Tarantula Collective merchandise, and I will see you next time.